Good morning guys and girls, welcome to Supercars of London. Getting fuel. So I think this could be the last time I get fuel, not that you can see it really. There you go. But anyway, I think this is the last time that I'm ever, ever gonna fuel up the R8. That's where I did my first fuel stop and broke my fuel filler cap button in my car, which made it, which meant it was impossible to fill up. And now I've just given myself a full tank, 365 miles. I'm not doing anywhere near that this week now. However, I'm doing a fair few miles today. It's not even 7 a.m., so we're going strong this week. <coughs> but it's having to be done. I was up at about one o'clock last night editing the video uh, that you watched yesterday. And I've still got my laptop and now bought my laptop charger so that whilst I'm down at Eastleigh with Aspect Balloting whilst he details my car, I can at least get some video editing done um, for the videos that's going to be going live whilst I'm in Portugal. Can you believe it? There is Sam and we've just been, like he's come from his house in Clapham. Bonjour. Good time. I know. <laughs> well, Sam in front, oh, we've met on the slip road in the traffic, which is unbelievable. <laughs> he said he didn't recognise me. You probably heard that actually. Um, but basically, I've come all the way around the M25 and then down the A3, and he's come from central London. The meet point is just off here, and we both were. We both said at the beginning of our journey that our estimated time of arrival was quarter past eight, but no idea that we were going to meet on the slip road. <laughs> so we've come for breakfast. Where's Sam? Been really, uh, really antisocial. We yeah. come here. The Snooty Fox in Surrey. It's fantastic. It's so cool. Let's review it. They basically, <laughs> they basically fought with it on a night after we'd come up from a night out because we ordered the most random stuff. And that's how useless you are in the morning. I ordered a Mars bar. She was like, no one would step out with that hair unless they were hungover. <laughs> a Rio, orange juice, and then a full English. Yeah. You didn't get full English, you got a full English without eggs, which is like the yeah. whole point of it. Because I don't like eggs. That's just weird. <laughs> oh, well. But anyway, we're in this place, and it's quite nice. It's on the green, and our cars are parked somewhere over there. We're only about five, ten minutes away from stop number one. Breakfast is done. And uh, now it's time to make our way. We're in a warehouse. And everything echoes. But it's pretty cool. What are we here to see? This. The 512. I think it's got the fear on her handbag. Fear on her handbag. I've made it up and stuck in your rail. It's cool though. You can show them from the front. You as well. Pretty cool though. I bumped into Sam on the way down to Guildford and <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> we're all driving the same way. <laughs> so I'm down at the Inky Hive Centre with Aspect Balloting, my car. Ready? And their massive new gazebo is going up. And my car is um, as clean as it looks. I'm going to take my hoodie off because uh, even though it's a sleeveless hoodie and it's a boiling day. So whilst Ben gets on that, 
I've rolled my sleeves up trying to get a tan and I found some shares and I'm just going to plop myself back up there <laughs> and in the sun. <laughs> So I've brought my laptop charger, as you can see there. So I'm going to start doing some video editing, as well as um, check out what these guys are doing on the car. It's so hot today, it's about 26, 27 degrees. And as you would have remembered if you have seen the original detail when this car was Iron Man, it was super hot there, ice, water, which I think is going to be something that is necessary today as well. My sleeves are rolled up. I'm going to try and warm my skin up before I go on holiday. I think I mentioned that already. But I can't wait to see what this is finished. This is the first time that Aspect Valeting have worked on my car that is actual paintwork rather than a vinyl wrap. So all of their products, all of their, their clay bar, their coating, everything is going to be emphasised because this is a metallic paint job. So I can't wait to see the end result. And whoever owns this car next, has had all of the treatment. This is insane what's going to go on and I think we're going to be here quite late tonight so I don't mind. Beautiful day. I'm going to try and get a tan, work on some videos inside as well so that I can get them edited and uploaded ready for Portugal. Here we go, we're in the home straight. It is hot. Look how blue the sky is. Not a cloud in the sky and the guys are absolutely smashing it. The car is looking awesome. I just took a selfie in my carbon fiber side blade and it is crisp. And the super cool thing now is that all of the stuff that Aspect Valeting uses is their own brand. You work with a scientist, you work with a company? Or yeah, you... we, we, we found a, a scientist a few years ago. I've been working with obviously some high end, top end product companies in the UK currently, but obviously over the years developed start to develop our own. All of the stuff you can get like what snow foam, glass leather cleaner, glass tire cleaner. slick, yeah, uh, our own our own tire, uh, tire slick, our own leather cleanser and hydration, uh, our own shampoo, car shampoo, literally all the way through. Um, everything you can imagine, polishes, waxes, and of course our own ceramic coating too, which you know about really. Now I did walk past the van and I saw it. It's pretty cool. It looks cool. What have we got here? Wheel cleaner. It is, the, it is by far the best stuff. Glass cleaner. This is the most, the best, or the most satisfying thing you can put on a car where you've got dirty windows, you put glass cleaner on it. Like this Peugeot over here, I don't even know whose it is, but it's dirty. You put glass cleaner on it, it is the most satisfying thing in the world seeing just the most insane clean glass. I mean, this is gonna have very, very clean glass, as I showed you. Admiring the beat and the champagne that's been left over for the launch party that was I think it was like two weeks ago and Ben is telling me now the car is ready maybe the gazebo's off let's go and check out how gleaming this looks and there it is Woo! Ben's just uh, well, removing the gazebo and getting his eye on it whilst the sunlight is on but oh my god just moving it back to a location so that we can get the Instagram pics. And look at the view. This is the cleanest it's ever been. I cannot believe how good this is. I'm working up a sweat, but there you go. Parked up in the sun, never has looked better. Okay. Insane. I'm gonna start taking pictures on Instagram, which you would have already seen. But that is what, hold on. Got here at 11. Give me two seconds. The time is now half past four, so they've worked five and a half hours on this car to get it into the condition that it has gone. And there is gonna be a full video as well, of course, um, with Aspect Valeting, of all of the products, everything that they've used on this car. Um, but it absolutely looks stunning. So it's time to get some Instagram pictures. Finally leaving, I thought that I would do something interesting. Look at the weather, see what the um, current temperature is. Can you see that? 29 degrees. I'm just outside of London, so it counts. And my car has been parked here for approximately half an hour, directly in the sun. Oh, 
should probably open her first. Oh God, this is going to be the worst thing in the world. Oh, that is just, <laughs> you can hear how squeaky it is, isn't it? I've never seen my hair so bad on the video. It's probably the first time ever. It's always a first. First for everything. And today, I really, 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 really want to drive a convertible. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming on my journey with me on Supercars of London, these daily vlogs. And um, yeah, today it is ending. We get an early night and start again tomorrow. Smash it, have some fun. But thank you for watching guys. I will see you tomorrow, big thumbs up. And um, if, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up yourself. And um, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe because I can assure you there's a lot of cool stuff happening over the next few weeks, months, and probably years across Supercars of London. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Cheers. I'm struggling just by doing this. Can't even pick my hands up. I've got no, sorry. That's the wrong sentence. <laughs>